Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going over my Google Docs master list tutorial because a lot of you guys have been asking a lot of questions and I thought I can answer them a little bit better. So let's just get into it. The first step is formatting, which is very important to writing notes. So the first thing we're going to click is that file tab and you can change the language to any language you want, which is perfect for writing French or Spanish notes or any other language notes. But we're going to mainly focus on page setup where you can edit the page size, page color, and the margins of your paper. You can also do this really weird thing which is called page list, but I'm going to pretend I didn't show you it because it's quite ugly. But what I like to do is make sure that I'm applying things to the whole document and I like to leave my page color white because it looks the most aesthetic and you know when you're printing it, it doesn't use a lot of ink and I like to change my margins to 0.5. Next, we are going to select normal text, and then this is where you can edit the normal text or the default options. What I like to do is click on that font and then go to more fonts and type in my favorite font. That's a lot of fonts, which is called Carla. And then you're going to type however you like. So I like to just make the size 10 and make it really small. And then you can just go there and press update normal text to match. And now every time you type, it'll be in that normal text. What I did was I updated my heading one and my heading two to match, doing whatever I like. And it's very important that you guys do this step because it'll matter when you're formatting later but now we're going to move into aesthetic headings so we are going to progressively get more aesthetic so bear with me but the first one is quite basic you just type your heading and then press insert and then insert horizontal line it's very simple and it's very easy to use and if you're in a pinch and you're just trying to type notes quickly it'll do the job just fine However, you guys aren't here if you want it simple, so we're going to move on to my second thing, which a lot of you guys had questions about in my last video. So what I like to do is just insert a text box and fill it in whatever color I like. This part doesn't really matter. You can do it up to your liking. I just chose brown because that's the theme that I love. But the main thing is that you're going to make sure that it goes behind the text and that you're moving it so that it's fixed position on the page. This allows you to move it wherever you like, regardless of the margins. And then you just play around and type your normal normal uh, font or heading or whatever you like and as you can see you can move it behind the heading but now we're going to move into the cream and let a creme um, the top of the top which is inserting that aesthetic heading you're just going to click on word art when you go to drawings and this allows you to insert a word art or like really fancy like bubble letter heading that you can edit however which way you like I just like to do these sometimes when I'm feeling really extra fancy but similarly to how you did that line make sure that it goes behind the text and make sure that your form formatting it so that it's fixed position on the page. It doesn't really matter what you do here, I just added an extra underline and then I added that old bar from last time just to make it look a little bit better. With all of the formatting out of the way, we can now move on to writing notes. So, uh, I thought this day would never come, but what I like to do is I like to insert a table that's one by one just to add that border and then you can just click on each of the sides to change the color and the thickness. I like to go with 2.25 and a color that matches my theme. Now once you do that, you can add the full title of your entire paper, however which way you like it. I just like to highlight it because I think it looks cute and now we can actually start writing notes. So. This is the heading thing that I was talking to you about earlier. It's an outline and it allows you to see every single heading you have on your paper, which is why it's important to set those headings. But now we're just gonna move into typing out your headings and this is gonna be a generic type font. Um, we're not going to do anything spectacular for the first section. I'm just showing you how to use numbered lines, which you just type in the number, like you can just type in one and press space and it'll do it for you. But here are some tips. If you want to make subheadings or sublists, you just press tab and it'll indent it for you. And if you want to go backwards, you just press shift tab and it'll unindent or like go back. I don't know <laughs> what it's called, but I think it's very important that you have more than one subheading. And now you can just insert images. I found out today that you can insert GIFs, which is pretty cool. So I inserted this one from Myanmar, my favorite artist to date. And you're just going to make sure that you change it to break text and that your margins are relatively small, if not zero. And then do not fix the position on the page because then it comes out of the table and it looks really weird make sure that it's moving with text and then you can click those three dots on the right hand side you can change a whole lot of things but what I like to do is I just like to add borders and make them the same color as my theme if you guys download this, it's full of key tips that you may need. I added all of my favorite study slash note taking tips in here. So just read them if you're going to use this template. I feel like it's very helpful. 
it's mostly tips on how to make it aesthetic. You know, you want to keep that aesthetics going throughout the entire document. But once we're done with that, we're going to insert another horizontal line, change that spacing, and we're on to the aesthetic slash technical stuff or technical part, I guess, of this entire tutorial. So now I'm going to show you how I like to use tables. So what I did was I inserted my heading one like we would normally do. And now we're going to add a table within a table. I like to add a two by two table into the tables usually. And I use these two by two tables to compare and contrast things. Now I just wanted to show you that there's a lot of other functions you can use. Um, and this is a faster way to change the border. If you right click on that table, it just pops up the table properties. But I like to use these uh, tables to distinguish between two things for example eukaryotes and prokaryotes if you're taking AP bio you know what I'm talking about but you're just gonna follow that same template and do the same thing you did before but now we have tables within tables and they look really pretty so here's just the expansive lifts I wanted to show you guys one more time that you can restart numbering, you can insert other rows, you could pin header rows. I mean, Google Docs is really great for making sure these tables are useful. But now I'm going to show you my column trick where if you wanted to insert columns, you really need to insert another table. But instead of making the table border have a color, make it white. And now you can insert columns, sorry, you can insert columns into your paper and it really just helps to add another aesthetic feel and to break up the chunkiness of having like the same type of text over and over and over again if you want to get a highlighted horizontal bar you can just select highlighter before you insert that horizontal bar but now we're moving on to our last and final note taking format that i like to use in my notes because they're relatively simple and fast to do so once you insert the image on the opposite side you're going to insert a two by two or a one by two sorry row of tables and we're just going to type like normal and this one i taught you guys how to use bullet points there is a way online to insert prettier bullet points i haven't figured it out yet um but when i do i will tell you guys i promise but you can use bullet points or numbering you have to keep it consistent though or it looks a little bit chunky i just went back and inserted some highlighter where i would normally underline i don't underline things because i feel like it looks chunky so in place of underlining you just highlight in a different color but now we're moving on to some fun facts or some fun features like quick links Quick links are so fun. So once you type in your heading, you're just going to go to insert and then smart chips and you can insert people, which sounds a little bit weird, but you can insert, uh, you can insert files. You can insert like the emails of people. And when you click on them, it'll take you to whatever file that is. And it's perfect if you have classes that have a lot of different notes or a lot of different resources because you can just add them to your paper. And now we're going to go through a table of contents and some special features. Remember when I said it's very important that you have all your headings? Well, yeah, you need to have this outline looking somewhat like this for this function to work. But what you do is you go to insert and then once you go to insert, you go to table of contents and it'll make a table of contents for you. Now the table of contents, other than looking a little bit janky, also just takes you to every single one of your headings. So if you have a 50 page thing, you can go to all of your headings all at once. And then this is the drop down feature, which I think is just kind of cute. Um, it doesn't really have a good purpose unless you're using this to track like, you know, projects, but it's cute and you can cycle through multiple different like formats or words and I think it looks pretty. But that about does it for this tutorial. I know I kind of went a little bit fast at the end, but I tried to slow down than what I would normally go to. But if you enjoyed, please like and subscribe. You can download this in the link in the description at my resources page. And I will see all of you next time. Maybe if you guys like this video, I'll make another one. But bye everyone.